Tinkercad friends, it is time for another episode of Tinkercad TV. Today, we've got some master mechanisms, so let's get cracking. Friends, we're going to start right on the Tinkercad homepage first. There is a fun challenge. It is a sandcastle challenge. You can copy and tinker and make an awesome sandcastle. If you've never tried one of these, I highly recommend them. They are fun, and as you can see, you've still got 15 days to join in. I also want to highlight the epic carousel challenge. This is the roundup. They were absolutely fantastic, and because of SimLab, they even move. What I want to highlight today, though, is something awesome and epic. It is a engine that is created by ZDP189. Friends, of course, it is set to copy and tinker. Don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. Friends, when you hit copy and tinker, you get to see the exact project. Sometimes you'll find notes. This one does not have notes, but let's take it right to SimLab and check it out. Notice the orange parts. They are snapping in place as the geometry becomes fixed. Notice this piece is set to static. That means it cannot move. If we click on this one, notice it is dynamic. That is the button where you can make the adjustments. This is an axle, which can also be set as a motor. This one is not. Over here, we've got another connector. This is called a slider. You can grab them right there, and there are also pivot connectors, but they are not used in this project. Whenever you check one of these out, once that geometry settles, you can hit play and check out the mechanism. ZDP has taken the time, done the math, aligned everything so that we have got a boxer engine in SimLab. If you hit pause, you can change the angle. You can grab the slider, back it up. You can learn so much about a mechanism using a tool like this. It is a ton of fun and a great way to learn some mechanical engineering. Now, don't forget, if we back out, we can go to the main one. You can also click on these items and ungroup them to see how they're all made. Right here, I'm going to shift click these two and I'm going to hide them. That lets us zoom in and get a better look at all these parts. You can also click on the connectors and learn all of the tricks that ZDP has put into these epic creations. Friends, when we back out, I just want to remind you of this as well. If you want to see more of the amazing creations of ZDP, you can simply click on his user profile and check it out. There are so many amazing projects. I would love to hear in the comments which one you think is the most incredible. Of course, friends, I always like to highlight the Tinkercad gallery. Check out these fantastic designs that were made lately. Don't forget, whenever you do, make sure you give them a reaction. And then also, I love to shut off the staff picks, turn on the smaller grid, and check out the fun creations. Of course, whenever you find one you think is pretty cool, make sure you give them a reaction. You never know whose day you just might be making. The last thing I'd like to highlight is the HLMT23 tag. This is a tag that you can add to any of your designs. Of course, I check this almost every day. And of course, I will give you a reaction. That is so awesome. I will see if I can still add it to the project. This will give us number 104. I totally appreciate all the submissions, everybody. And I hope you have a glorious day. And keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Down below, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Below that, friends, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you look at the very top, you'll also find the link to the Tinkercad community discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course friends you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.